Coming on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mics are coming on. Okay. Time having arrived, I call the meeting of the City Council to order for today, April 22nd. Please stand and salute the American flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. President. Councilor Neary. Mr. President, if I might, and if everybody could just remain standing. Um, and I just learned of the, of the passing of a gentleman that uh, served here in City Hall and served as our assistant city clerk under our city clerk, Mr. Anthony Zioli, Mr. Richard Susi, who passed away unexpectedly over the, over the weekend. And um, Dick was a great, uh, a great soldier, a great, uh, great employee, worked uh, in the clerk's office from 1992 to 2005 and um, retired. And, uh, and the clerk always seemed to find a way to bring him back to keep him busy every once in a while. And not, not to say, but he was just here um, doing some things uh, with the clerk and the people in the clerk's office just the last um, few months. So unfortunately, I guess we, um, we have to keep in mind that today is today and, and, and tomorrow is tomorrow. But uh, may he rest in peace and may he uh, always be remembered um, as, as a tremendous uh, asset to to this uh, city hall and to the city clerk's office and of course to Mr. Zioli uh, for uh, both of them being good friends and, and doing a good job. Let's take a moment of silence, please. Thank you, Mr. President. May he rest in peace. Uh, councilors, uh, uh, just a quick note, uh, Council Nicastro uh, text and informed me that she wouldn't be here tonight because she's still getting over the uh, the knee issue uh, and sends her regards. And I just also want to wish uh, the folks who are watching us at home and all you folks uh, a happy belated Easter. I hope you had a great week and collected a, quite a few uh, <coughs> bars along with the kids. It was a lot of fun. Uh, with that being said, Mr. Clerk. Agenda nine, number one. We have acceptance of the minutes of April 8th, 2019, City Council meeting. That will be accepted and placed on file. Board of the Audits Committee for its meeting of April 3rd, 2019. That too will be accepted and placed on file. Board of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of April 10th, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Board of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 16th, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Plymouth County Extension 4-H Youth Development Program submitting a copy of the annual report with respect to fiscal years 2018-2019. That too will be accepted and placed on file. And a communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, recommending that the city council authorize the total appropriation of $250,000 from DPW snow removal to planning and economic development, $250,000, in order to fund a master planning and design for a public safety complex. That will be accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommended that the city council authorize a total appropriation of $515,000 from DPW snow removal to school debt tech hardware $515,000 in order to fund the schools with 1,000 new computers and 100 computer carts. That will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too shall be accepted and placed we on file. We have it ordered that the mayor and our real estate custodian be authorized to accept on behalf of the city of Brockton a parcel of land containing approximately 0.11 acres located and known as Plot 66, 243 Green Street, more particularly described as parcel identification number 051-081 in council February 11, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call. <coughs> Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Order that the mayor and or treasurer collector be authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to convey the property located and known as plot number 31, 115 Newbury Street, parcel ID 053-061, 
to Melissa Gillings, 10 Ellsworth Street, Brockton, for the purchase price of $1,300, said property be sold under the abutter lot program and to be sold without a permanent non-buildable restriction. Said property shall also merge with a budding lot of the purchaser. This is favorable as amended in council, February 11, 2018, ready to refer to standing committee on real estate. That report was favorable as amended. The amendment on item number 11 agenda is to read as follow, a time limit of one year for the purchase to merge with the abutting law. The question is on the amendment by uh, a hand vote. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment carries. Now the question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Proof? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Valley? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? <coughs> Sullivan? Yes. Kennedy Affirmative. The order as amended is adopted. Appointment of Wayne A. Lake, 56 Short Street, Brockton, Mass, as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. In council, April 8, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. <clears throat> the question is on confirmation by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. <clears throat> Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The reappointment is confirmed. Treatment of Gene Rody, original. <clears throat> Excuse me, 98 Southfield Drive, Brockton, as a constable, City of Brockton, for a term of three years. In council, April 2018, read and referred Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Uh, the question is on confirmation by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Unary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And the affirmative? The appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Clarence Hassan, 14 Ridge Hill Avenue, Brockton, to the planning board for a five-year term. In council, April 8, 2018. Reading referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative? The appointment is confirmed. A total appropriation of $25,727 from parking authority personal services other than overtime, $21,030, and parking authority snow removal, $4,697, to parking authority purchase of services. In Council, April 8, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable as amended, the amending on the agenda from appropriation to transfer due to a scrivener's error. The question is on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment carries. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And in the affirmative? The order is, or the transfer is adopted. Order that Mass General Laws Chapter 33, Subsection 59, be accepted by the City Council. Said section of General Laws is relative to public employees not to lose pay or services in the armed forces, paragraph A, B, C, D, E, and F, also known as the BRAVE Act. In Council, April 8, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. President. Um, Council Sullivan. Make a motion for reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't. Second. 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 Motion for reconsideration has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? 
Reconsideration fails. Resolved to invite Patricia Monteith, the Brockton representative for Mass Memories Roadshow, to be held at the Brockton Public Library on Saturday, May 18, 2019, to inform the public and the City Council as to how to participate in this one time only opportunity to preserve Brockton history. In Council, April 8, 2018, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. E, the question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Deaneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Head of affirmative? <laughs> The resolve is adopted. Resolved to invite Steve Grossman, CEO of ICIC, <clears throat> Initiative for Competitive in a City, or his designee, to inform the public and city council of this new program and how individuals in this city could take advantage of this economic development opportunity. In council April 8, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ianeri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. The result. The, oh, the resolve is adopted. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of West Meadow Drive, extending from Burroughs Road, Nautilly, to Julie Avenue, a distance of about 647 feet, more or less. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away <laughs> of said city of Brockton. That will be referred to finance and planning. Planning. We have ordered that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Julie Avenue, extending from Ash Street westerly, a distance of about 533 feet, more or less, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. That, too, will be referred to the Committee on Finance and Planning. Okay. We have a total appropriation of $250,000 from the DPW snow removal to plan and economic development, $250,000. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. We have a total appropriation of from DPW snow removal to school department tech hardware, $515,000. That, too, will be referred to the Committee on Finance. All items on the agenda are available in their entirety for review in the City Clerk's Office for all interested parties. Uh, Council, this, this was a quick agenda. Uh, is there any... Oh, okay. Oh, Council of Warguard, followed by Isaac and Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> President. A uh, couple of things here. Um, first of all, um, Last week we had uh, Steve Grossman and he handed out some packets. I have some more if we know businesses that are interested or places that we wish to pass those on. Two, tomorrow night is the Ward 5 community meeting. That means everybody is invited. It just happens to be in Ward 5, Pluff Academy, and there's parking right next to it. It's in the cafeteria, Crescent Street, and uh, a lot of individuals will be around, and one of them will be Officer Bill Healy to do a brief presentation. And again, the doors open at 6.30. We figure we'll probably get started about quarter of seven. Everyone's entitled to float in. Also, again, on this mass memory, Road Show. Uh, tomorrow they'll be having a luncheon. Anyone is invited to attend at the Brockton Main Library at 12 noon to uh, further discuss the plans and proposals and get more individuals to participate in this uh, Mass Memories event that will be taking place on Saturday, May 18th. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Azek. Thank you, Mr. President. I would just like to remind everybody that this Saturday, April 27th, is um, the date for Keep Brockton Beautiful. It was postponed from a few weeks ago due to the weather, so hopefully the weather will be better this Saturday. Uh, volunteers are needed and appreciated, so please contact the Recycling Department at 508-580-7827 to volunteer. Or um, you can just show up that morning at Heights Crossing, which is at 27 Christie's Place. <laughs> From 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is registration, and then all volunteers are invited to come back afterwards at 12 noon for a cookout and raffle. So hope to see everybody there. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Councillor. Councillor Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. President. A couple pieces of information. This Saturday is opening day uh, for Downey at 11 o'clock. Uh, it was postponed from last Saturday. Uh, at the same time, uh, on Saturday at 9 o'clock is uh, the new Brockton Baseball League where West and Brookfield merge. That's at 9 o'clock at Brockton High School. Uh, and I also want to personally thank Tim Carpenter um, from the Parks Department. Um, my three children and 27 other Brocktonians took part last week, free golf camp uh, during April vacation. It was called the First Tee. It was sponsored by the City of Brockton. It was uh, paid for by uh, Mass Golf Association. <coughs> It was an awesome week. It was only 9.30 to 11, but 30 boys and girls in the city of Brockton really took advantage of it. It was wonderful. So kudos to Tim Carpenter. And lastly, anybody that sits on the Ordinance Committee, we are meeting here May 8th, 6 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you Councilor Sullivan. Um, uh, Councilor, I just wanted to make sure to remind us all that this month we actually had five Mondays, so we won't be here next Monday. But our next uh, get together will be on May 6th for a FinCon. Get together. So, with that, I just want to wish you all a, a great couple weeks off. Hey, nice. And yeah. having no further business for the uh, people of the city of Brockton, we are adjourned. Never a week off.